This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Many people use Photoshop elements for their family photos. Makes sense. Got a camera, got a family, photos. Or you have friends, or maybe you go to a concert and take some photographs, or you go to a barbecue, or whatever. The fact is, you probably have a lot of photos of people. And wouldn't it be convenient if you could organize those photos based on who's in them? Facial recognition is a really big keyword now for, well, everything. But in Photoshop Elements, it has a really special purpose. You can select an image or any group of images and have Photoshop Elements automatically look for facial features. You can then name these people and Photoshop Elements will tag an image based on who it detects and who it finds. This can be really helpful for finding images of your children or your siblings or your wife or husband or anyone else you may know. Now there's several ways to do this. You can select an individual image and search only in that image, or you can select them all, or you can select any number of them, entirely up to you. The keyboard command for selecting all of the images in your catalog is Command A on a Mac, Control A on a PC. With all my images selected, I can then choose Find, Find People for Tagging. You can also do this individually. I'm going to do it right here, and it's really easy to do. If you double click on a thumbnail to enlarge it to its maximum size, if the program detects that there are faces in this image, it'll automatically give you a facial search field like this. Now, keep this in mind, it's not perfect. It's doing this by analyzing the shadows and highlights of what a face would normally look like. So in this case, it's actually tagging my daughter's hands. Well, that's not helpful. I can remove the facial search regions by just clicking on the little arrow key that appears in the background. And I can manually add a new one in. There's a small little add a missing person button at the bottom of your enlarged thumbnail. And what it allows you to do is have a search field that you can then customize for size and shape. And I'm doing that by going to the control points at the left and right sides, like so. I can make it fit her face. I can click on the who is this field and I'm going to type in Lori. And then I can simply press the checkbox to approve my changes. And now this adds keyword tag Lori. And I can then search for this keyword tag if I want. But it's also very helpful for when it's searching for faces, it'll automatically add the keyword tag Lori every time it detects her face. So facial recognition can be really, really helpful for quick tagging of images. Keep in mind that it's not perfect. Nothing ever is. But just like your ability to auto-analyze images, it can sometimes save you a great deal of time, a great deal of repetitive work, which is a major help for the organizer.